Let's bring in ABC News political director Rick Klein for more on the U.S. response here. So, Rick, a top Ukrainian official is now challenging these claims that an invasion is imminent, saying in an interview with the BBC, the number of Russian troops is not increasing in the way that today many are representing. So what do you think? Is there a chance that the U.S. is playing into the Kremlin's hands by just falling for Putin's typical intimidation tactics? Well, Kira, if the if the objective that Putin has here is to get noticed, that certainly worked. Um, did, did he expect the the veracity of the American response? How how much intelligence the American side has been uh, has been putting out there about the, the troop buildup and even these these moves to to tell uh, embassy personnel, embassy families to, to leave the country in the near future? All of it adds up to uh, quite a response. And maybe it is that Putin got what he wanted. I think the American side of that would be um, if there is no invasion then mission accomplished there, and that, that's definitely a win. I think the thing to remember on the Ukrainian side, it is, it is their country. And the idea that the Russians are about to take over, uh, the, 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 you know, invade the nation and take over the streets, that would set off a lot of panic. And I think they need to, to quell things a little bit differently. It's different for Joe Biden to tell the American people that this is him, and it doesn't affect our lives on a day-to-day -day basis. But if you're sitting today and, and going about your life in Ukraine, uh, the, the, the idea that the Russians are going to take things over is, uh, is is a pretty big deal. So I think that there's there's a playing to a domestic audience here that's quite a bit different, but there's no doubt you're right. Putin Putin has has succeeded in in getting the world's attention at the moment. So put this in perspective, for weeks now you and I have been talking about the potential of crippling sanctions if Russia goes through with an invasion. So how significant an escalation is this heightened alert uh, troop posture? Yeah, this is separate from the discussion around sanctions, which the administration says would, would snap in uh, the moment that there's any kind of an invasion. They have been very hesitant to allow any sanctions to move forward unless there is that military provocation, until or unless Putin's troops cross the border. Uh, but the flip side of that is that it's part of an effort of deterrence. And putting these troops in a readiness posture is a one step below telling them to actually get to the, the eastern front of NATO uh, ready to fortify forces. All of that is a step below uh, actually putting troops in Ukraine. So think about this as a massive chessboard and moving a knight down the, uh, down the, down the, uh, the board. You don't actually know what you're going to do with this yet, but clearly it's, it's sending a message to the other player, to the other team here in this very high stakes uh, standoff that we're talking about. And all of it is, the, the intention of all of it is to add up to uh, the signal to Vladimir Putin that the consequences will be vast and severe should he act. So when you talk about mass and severe, let's talk about American troops and just how realistic is it that we would see American troops on the front lines? Yeah, I think it's significant that we haven't seen a movement to A, activate the troops, uh, or, or B, I think it's also important to remember where they're going. And right now we're talking about the NATO's east, we're talking about Poland, we're talking about Romania, we're not talking about troops in Ukraine, we're certainly not talking about tr sending troops into Russia. That would be a much more aggressive posture than the Biden administration has counted so far. ABC News political director Rick Klein. Rick, thanks so much for the conversation. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.